We made it. We did. We yeah. made it. How Thank are you? you. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you uh, very much. And indeed, it's a privilege to be participating uh, in this uh, gathering. And let me start by uh, observing how important it is to be uh, sitting uh, around the same table uh, with uh, the big tech companies. Uh, and uh, you made a reference, started by making a reference to um, uh, Athens as the cradle of um, uh, democracy. And of course, Athenian democracy was a direct um, um, the democracy was not represented democracy, but this does not mean that it was not immune to rumors or, or populism. Um, uh, and uh, many of the um, um, sort of uh, deep thinking that went into the, uh, 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 into the ancient thinkers that wrote about uh, uh, ancient democracy focused on how one can protect uh, a democracy against these types of, uh, of threats. I mean, uh, today we're faced with the completely uh, different uh, challenges, and you know my interest in this topic started when I uh, uh, understood the true capabilities of AI uh, in uh, in creating deep fakes that can be extremely convincing uh, and highly highly dangerous uh, in an electoral environment. Imagine uh, Friday before an election, um, blackout period. For example, in Greece, there's nothing we can do. Uh, after midnight on Friday, and on Saturday, you suddenly have an, an audio or a video uh, circulating that is a deep fake that clearly you know, catches fire, and you have no uh, way of uh, responding. This is actually exactly what happened uh, in, in Slovakia, and this is something which we know will uh, happen uh, in many upcoming elections. So the challenge is, how do we protect ourselves against what we know um, uh, is going to happen? And I find it particularly uh, encouraging uh, that the technology companies are recognizing that they have an important role to play. Uh, at the end of the day, they also have the technologies and can advise us on how we can protect ourselves uh, against uh, uh, this uh, upcoming uh, reality and the fact that we're sitting around the table today uh, I recognizing that this is a, a real threat and that actions need to be taken, I think, is a clear step uh, in, in the right direction. My second, you know, very brief observation is that whatever we do and whatever you do obviously cannot and will not uh, replace uh, our obligation as a European Union um, uh, to regulate this space. And the Vice President will talk much more about this, so I won't uh, take uh, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of her, uh, her, uh, her time um, speaking about what we have done, uh, you know, starting from GDPR, the Digital Services Act, and of course now the uh, AI Act. Uh, but uh, uh, the voluntary contribution of tech companies goes hand in hand with a regulatory framework and of course finding the right balance between proper regulation and not stifling innovation is a constant um, uh, challenge and I must say that sometimes we uh, sit at this table with a certain asymmetry of information or of deep understanding of exactly how the technology itself works and this sometimes may be a problem because when we as politicians feel we don't completely understand what's happening in terms of the technology, we may tend to overregulate, and this would be uh, a problem when it comes to the development of AI. Uh, my last very brief observation is that we need to educate the public. Uh, and this is particularly important uh, because uh, at a time when uh, a lot of the, uh, of the sort of campaigning work uh, and the political activity happens uh, through social media, explaining to the general public what exactly can happen through very convincing deep fakes is a joint obligation uh, that we both have. Is the general public going to be more suspicious? Yes. But do they also have an obligation to think twice when they see something which is suspicious or sort of out of the, uh, out of the ordinary? Yes, because uh, we may not have the time to either properly label it, identify as fake, or even uh, remove it uh, uh, from the platform. So this general education exercise about uh, sort of the malign capabilities of AI, I think is a joint uh, obligation. And, and the more I think we talk about uh, the risks, um, uh, the more uh, educated the public is going to become. Uh, and of course, uh, the, the less uh, susceptible to any type uh, of, um, uh, of disinformation. Uh, finally, I guess when we think about uh, this is sort of my, my final ob observation. You know, we put a lot of faith as, uh, as politicians in new campaign techniques. And, you know, yes, indeed, you know, uh, they can work wonders, uh, uh, you know, within the framework of the proper regulation and the rules that we have to apply in terms of communicating our uh, messages to, uh, to target audiences. But 
uh, at the end of the day, um, nothing can replace uh, what we call retail, traditional retail politics and shaking people's hands. And uh, as far as I know, technology is still not capable of creating, creating a convincing hologram of me walking in, an, in, a, in, a, in a Greek village doing you know, a traditional campaigning um, uh, uh, work. It may happen uh, at, at, at some point, uh, but uh, it also allows us to think again in, in terms of not putting all our uh, faith in terms of uh, communicating um, uh, uh, with the general public in a campaign simply by using the most uh, advanced uh, um, uh, technological tools. So again, uh, as a uh, head of government uh, that thinks a lot about the future of democracy uh, and about protecting you know, the integrity of the democratic process, congratulations on, on this uh, uh, initiative. I think it's a clear step uh, in the right direction. And let's also think about how we can use uh, AI tools um, uh, to make the democratic process better in terms of making public consultations um, more and uh, more effective and more um, uh, and, and more uh, objective. So let's look at the flip side of this, and we'll be looking for your contribution. What can AI do to make public engagement uh, uh, better in order to build sort of more trust between um, uh, the elected officials and the general public? So thank you very much. Thank you.